Hi, I'm Farmer Matt, uh, Cherry Grove Organic Farm, and I'm going to show you three of my favorite tomatoes. Uh, tomato number one, my favorite heirloom, is uh, Brandywine. That's sort of a medium one. They get bigger. We sort of picked through here a little bit already. But, um, you know, a standard heirloom, um, very sweet. Um, from a production standpoint, they, they produce a lot of tomatoes. Um, you know, people really love them. It's probably our best seller. It's, um, it, it's just a great tomato for slicing on sandwiches, um, just to eat. You can just eat it right now. Uh, just a great tomato. And then uh, my two other favorite tomatoes are actually not um, heirlooms, which always sort of shocks people a little bit. But the one my family and I probably eat the most of is actually these little guys, Mountain Magic. They're incredibly, um, incredibly sweet. They're always sort of golf ball size, so it's great for a, a salad. You just quarter it, throw it in a salad. Um, perfect blend of sweetness and that sort of tomato-y zest people like. Um, yeah, we love them. They're absolutely wonderful. The plants are incredibly strong and they produce a ton of tomatoes. And so um, it's sort of a nice combination of everything you want in a tomato. And, you know, we've, we've really pushed over the years at the markets because they look like a supermarket tomato and gotten people to try them. We'd throw some in bags with the heirlooms that they're buying. And um, people just absolutely love them now. So one of our favorite tomatoes. Third one. I like is a Stiva, also not an heirloom. Again, a great flavor uh, tomato. You know, sort of an all-purpose tomato. You can use them for really anything. You can make sauce out of them. You can, you know, cut them up again raw in a salad. Um, great keepers. The, the difference between an heirloom and and the Mount Magic and the Stiva is the Stiva Mount Magic will last really all week on your kitchen counter where the heirlooms are liable to last two days. So um, a nice combination, you know, if you buy them at the markets, you can get some heirlooms and then some, uh, we call them standards, Mountain Magic and Estiva, and you have tomatoes all week. You can purchase these tomatoes. Um, we do a Scotch, the Scotch Plains Farmer's Market on Saturdays, um, Summit Farmer's Market on Sundays, Princeton Farmer Market on Thursdays, and then we're open here at the farm Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. So we have two varieties of the Brandywine tomatoes. We have a German Johnson and a classic Brandywine. So this is our German Johnson and this is our classic Brandywine. They're very soft, they're a little more pink than our beefsteak tomatoes, a lighter color. They don't really have much green on top. They still have that nice little lump going. These are, this is probably like a one, one and a half pound tomato. So definitely great for a tomato soup or um, a big, to beautiful tomato salad. This is a very fleshy tomato. Make a nice wedge. Mmm. This is the sweetest of these varieties that I've tried so far. It is very fleshy, really gorgeous. Yeah, I don't, that, that's a great tomato. Brandywine and German Johnson. So these I'm sure you've seen, or I hope you do see at a farmer's market. These are these gorgeous striped German tomatoes. They look like a tie-dye t-shirt that your uncle Bob wore as a child. They are very hefty. These, if you slice them right down the middle, which I'll show you, look like a work of art, which they really are. Take a look inside. So this you also might see on the cover of a food and wine magazine as a beautiful heirloom variety. Very soft, very tender, very fleshy. Mmm, very sweet. This and the brandy wine, very sweet, balanced acidity. Yeah, this is great. 
So these are pretty funky. These are called a black velvet or a black prince. This is a type of heirloom tomato. Pretty lumpy. It has a dark green uh, center where, the st where it was connected to the stem. Pretty firm. It's not as soft and tender as the brandy wine or the striped German. Mm. So this is definitely uh, the most firm of the heirlooms that I've tried. So this could hold up better in a raw salad or a salsa. Pretty acidic and firm. The skin has a little more bite to it than the other tender heirlooms, but a great tomato and a nice little size. So this is a beautiful uh, Berkeley pink tie dye. So this has that pinkish white and green skin. This is a little firmer. So this is like a surprise inside. It, it looks like it might be green because it's a green tomato, but inside it's pretty bright red and pink. Pretty psychedelic, hence the name. This is a mild tomato. It's pretty watery, a thinner skin, and I'd say this could sit out for a couple of days depending on when it was picked or brought to market. Not a overwhelming tomato flavor, but great texture. So this is another um, slicer tomato, a beautiful golden orange color. Golden Globe, it's called. It smells very delicious. Mm, this is very sweet and acidic and soft. And I would maybe do a, va a variety of uh, some golden globe tomatoes and some astrina tomatoes and maybe some cherokee purple and you'd have a nice um, variety of colors in a fresh tomato salad valencia heirloom tomato a deep golden yellow orange color great for a salad hefty texture hefty feel yeah this is a firmer tomato not overly sweet yeah great for a salad caprese would be lovely that's a, that's a good tomato. The Dixie Lee Gold Giant. That is a hefty heirloom tomato. I would say this is about one and a half pounds. Very fleshy and soft. Probably wouldn't last more than two days on your counter. Mmm. That's a little bit softer than our Golden Globe. Not too acidic. I would eat that tomato again and again. Very good. We're gonna move on to our sauce tomatoes. These are handy for preserving, which you may learn about in another video. Um, a classic New Jersey um, sauce tomato that a lot of our Italian friends may use is the San Marzano tomato. Um, these ha are known to have a great um, thickness and sweetness to them. These may be a later variety. Some farms have them earlier in the season, but they also are very slightly cool tolerant. So some farmers may start them in a second or third succession of tomatoes. And these are really nice and firm. And you can see they don't have as much water inside. It's a lot of thick flesh. Mmm. It's definitely more savory and a really nice bite to it. And just seeing this excites me to make tomato sauce this summer. Um, this you might find in all those classic standard cans of tomatoes at the grocery store. Um, even the big brands like Roma or Cento, they may use imported San Marzano tomatoes, but New Jersey does a great job growing them. Uh, the second sauce variety that I have which I just learned about this year and tasted this year is the Corsalo tomato. Um, this is a tomato that Mike has been growing here at North Slope for many seasons and uh, it comes in many sizes and thicknesses. And I'm gonna taste the really big guy and see how that, see how that goes. Wow. So this kind of looks like an heirloom on the inside, um, but has a lot of flesh to be made into tomato sauce. Mmm. This is much sweeter than the San Marzano tomato. Really nice, soft and delicate bite to it. 
because it's such a big tomato, that means you'll get more sauce. So I would say comparatively, the San Marzano and the Corsalo tomato, Corsalo is a great bang for your buck for uh, making large quantities of sauce. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming with me on this delicious tomato exploration. Uh, thank you to all of the farms that donated these amazing treasures of the state of garden, the garden state of New Jersey. I encourage you to take a look at the NOFA website and take a look at the farm and food guide and you can see where all the farmers markets are and you can pick up some of these tomatoes and prolong this amazing bountiful season we have in New Jersey. Preserve some tomatoes, can them, freeze them, make some dishes for your neighbors, friends and family. Enjoy these beautiful fruits that we have only once a year and I hope to see you and all of us at NOFA hope to see you at uh, a farmer's market and in real life when it's safe to do so. So thank you again and happy Festimato. tomato.